What's up guys, uh, Chris here from anabolicmen.com and I just wanted to shoot a quick video. It's actually uh, the evening time and I wanted to shoot this video because it just came up. It was, you know, not planned, a spur of the moment kind of thing. It just ran through my head. I was like, I remembered back, uh, a few years back, they were running those Is It Low T Androgel commercials on TV all the time. And I uh, I just randomly thought of it, and I remember that they would always say, go take go take this quiz over at isitlowtea.com. So I, for whatever reason, just went over there right now. It's gone. So I was like, oh, why why is it gone? I uh, did a little Googling. Turns out I, I'm on a, I found a law firm website. Turns out a bunch of people are actually suing AbbVie, which is the company that makes Androgel, which is hormone replacement therapy, because they've had injuries related injury, I guess as a legal term, but more of a like a medical malady because of the hormonal imbalance or, or issues that the complications they've had with taking androgel. There actually looks like a class action lawsuit against them because of what they're calling disease mongering, which is interesting. And so uh, basically what they're what they're claiming is, and this is what kind of it what really pissed me off about the pharmaceutical industry, in general, and then people who just jump to only accept pharmaceuticals as, as the only way to go for curing your body of, of an issue, especially hormone issues. You know, like so there are a lot of people out there that say hormone replacement is the only effective way to increase testosterone. And I think that's just, just bullshit. That's not true at all. That's just blatantly ignoring the research around lots of natural compounds, including a lot of things that are actually produced by our own bodies that we can supplement with. And I'm not saying, you know, all, all supplements or all natural compounds help testosterone, but there are some good ones. There's, there's a handful of them. There are also some good principles like addressing micronutrient deficiencies, which most people have, especially by the time you get older, you have micronutrient deficiencies. If you've been eating a shitty diet for your whole life, or you've been, you know, overtraining or or uh, dieting and deficits for long periods of time. By the time you get into your 40s, it would make total sense that you're massively deficient in a lot of things, and that would lead to low testosterone. So apparently, looks like a little justice is happening with Androgel right now because they have a lawsuit against them. They took that website down that they were sending people to, but you know, sadly, a lot of people don't don't realize this yet. So I just wanted to make make a video and put the word out there. If you think you have low testosterone, then you don't need to use hormone replacement therapy. You really don't. What, what happens is, is it's what I call false feedback. So w when you introduce exogenous hormone into your body, it doesn't matter if it's bioidentical or synthetic, you introduce an exogenous hormone into your body, you're introducing false feedback. You have a feedback loop uh, from your hypothalamus to pituitary gland to either your adrenal glands or uh, gonads, testes, and it's fed back up through your spinal cord and that's how your brain communicates and produces hormones. So what happens is when you take hormone replacement therapy, the false feedback is that your body now thinks that it has enough testosterone. So what it does is it actually shuts down uh, your own production of testosterone. And that is probably a big guess of the, the source of the issues that these people that are filing this lawsuit have been having, where their body actually will stop producing testosterone on its own altogether. And that can cause a lot of other issues. So don't, don't use hormone replacement therapy. You don't need to unless you have a very serious medical condition. That would only really account for a very small percentage of people. I even had a brain tumor when I was 19 that in my pituitary gland that stopped testosterone production and I naturally corrected that issue by by using smart principles naturally with the right training, the right nutrition, the right micronutrients and the right uh, supplementation, smart supplementation, using supplements that actually work, that have research and human studies behind them that will increase your testosterone naturally. That's what you need to do. So what we did over at Anabolic Men was we actually used uh, the last four or five years of experience that Ali and I have had uh, with people reaching out to us, emailing us, asking us questions, was consulting, that sort of thing. We use that experience to design what's known as the masculine optimization pyramid. And what that is, is a framework. It's, I mean, it's free. We're not, there's no charge, nothing. It's just a framework of the way that we, the patterns that we've seen that will help you to naturally solve your hormonal issue. 
and let's talk about testosterone, but you can use this framework to solve other problems like thyroid problems, for example. The first step, the bottom of the pyramid is you need to identify the micronutrients involved with this hormone production. So in this case, testosterone. The micronutrients that your body needs as the fuel to, or the building blocks to help fuel the cellular processes that produce testosterone in your body. Identify those micronutrients. Over at Anabolic Men, we have hundreds of articles, free articles, free information. You can go over there, check it out, figure out what they are. We'll be doing videos on it. Uh, we also have a, when you look at the pyramid page on the website, uh, we show some of the most common deficiencies uh, and then how to fix them. So you need to correct those micronutrient deficiencies. Sometimes there's research showing that on uh, certain micronutrient deficiencies by correcting it, the study subjects testosterone levels will go back into the normal range almost immediately within a few weeks of correcting the issue. So that's the first step. Second step is focusing on nutrition. So that's the next one up in the pyramid. Uh, this is the second important thing to, to look at. Focus on nutrition, focus on the right macronutrient balance. Talk all about it in the test shock program. Talk about why you need a balance of macronutrients, why you don't want to be omitting one macronutrient. Uh, for example, going super low fat or in super uh, low carb, especially low carb. It's been the common thing that causes a lot of problems for, for guys that come find anabolic men. So that's the second thing that you need to work on. So first micronutrients, then macronutrients through nutrition, through whole food diet. Remain flexible though too, because that leads into the next thing. So lifestyle, is the the next element that is the third importance so with lifestyle this encompasses everything from sex to stress any kind of uh, sleeping issues sleep is huge and chemicals because there are chemicals everywhere from the time we're a kid we're eating processed stuff we don't even know we're exposed to chemicals in the buildings that we live in and in the air the containers that we eat food out of that we drink out of there there are estrogenic chemicals everywhere that are endocrine disruptors that are throwing our body into a state of imbalance. So that's the third thing. Fourth thing is training, proper training. You don't, you can not train and still increase your testosterone naturally. However, training is going to get you looking better. It's going to build your body in the right way, but you can also use it to influence your testosterone production in the body because there's a lot of good research on certain types of training that will increase hormone output in your body. And we also talk a lot about that. The last but not least, the, the least important, however, this is also like icing on the cake. It's also the most fun to do, the most fun to look at is the supplements. So supplements are interesting. There are a lot of them out there. Obviously everyone knows that. And a lot of them don't work. They're not good for anything. They're, and a lot of people just kind of take a lazy route sometimes and say that they don't work for any, like no supplements work which is also not true. There are a lot of supplements out there that are first off our body naturally produces. So those work for whatever, whatever they're used for, they work obviously. And then there are other things like certain herbs and roots that are actually pretty freaking badass in terms of actually having support from the scientific community that has studied these things and has results in humans that we can look to, to educate our decisions. And that's what we do at Anabolic Men. That's why we, we like to dig into the research we don't ever recommend anything that doesn't have solid research behind it, especially human research. So you know what you're looking at. You can read all the studies on the site. But yeah, so supplementation, there's some good stuff out there. There's a lot of bad stuff, but there's some very, very good stuff that's that's very effective. So that's the uh, masculine optimization pyramid. You don't need hormone replacement. You really don't. Like I said, unless you're in a dire medical situation that would account for probably less than 1% of the people that will ever watch this video, then you can do it naturally. So go over to anabolicmen.com. If you think you have low testosterone, or if you know you have low testosterone and you need some help, if you have erectile dysfunction issues, if you just wanna get bigger, you wanna put on some mass in all the right areas, you wanna increase androgen receptor density in your muscle tissue, we have so much free information over at Anabolic Men. We also have courses on Anabolic Academy at anabolicacademy.com. And uh, we have a marketplace over there too, where that's where we put the supplements that we recommend based on research. I have the human research behind them. That's so we're we're building the anabolic men marketplace because we want a trustworthy shop a shopping experience for people to go and actually get stuff that works. And to, by going there, they know that it's there for a reason. So 
hopefully now now you're up to date on the pharmaceutical situation with the HRT. I think this is good. There's some justice going on. I'm I'm excited to see where you know the more people's eyes are open to to the power that they actually have over their health. I'm excited to see how many guys lives we can change because I know we've changed a lot of guys lives we get a lot of good emails from people that just thank us for showing them that there's an option you have other options you don't need to do hormone replacement therapy you have other options so uh, and this is one so go over and check out all the free information at anabolicmen.com uh, if you like this video do the little like button and then if you want to subscribe to get more videos like this to learn more about natural testosterone optimization how your body can naturally produce testosterone all the tips. Just subscribe to the channel and I'll see you on the next video.